Hey everybody, welcome to uh, another review. Today I'm gonna, I have the privilege of reviewing the Komodo Internet Security Premium um, 2011. This is the beta release, it just came out about 10 minutes ago. So I'd like to get this one done uh, early so I can uh, get it out there. I'm uh, applying updates right now. So it's just uh, updated. Nothing's changed visually um, that you guys can see from last time. But um, let me refresh this. I will show you some of the changes that I've seen. Okay, so we got the new application whitelist control. Um, this is now, the whole whitelist is now in the cloud. There's no more trusted vendors list or any of that inside um, Komodo Internet Security. Um, they're going to introduce new signatures, uh, new scanner and uh, malware cleaning. Uh, new signatures are going to be introduced slowly during the beta stage. Um, Cloud-based uh, antivirus. Uh, that's new-ish, new-ish. Uh, it was kind of introduced in 4.1, but it's taking a much bigger role right now in uh, version 5. Uh, cloud behavior analysis. Um, this is a little bit different. What this does is uh, it uh, it was introduced in this one right now, and what they do is uh, any unknown file uh, that is sandboxed and has not been seen by Komodo is automatically submitted to the online behavior uh, CAMAS, and results are sent to you to your PC in 15 minutes at the most. Uh, after the upload process is done, it depends on how long it takes, depending on how complicated the uh, software is. Uh, there's a game mode right now that suppresses alerts and uh, your scans and everything so you can activate that. Uh, default deny has been redesigned so it works uh, during partially limited right now it works a little bit different it should work a lot better uh, than version 4. Uh, there will be less problems with uh, software running. So. Okay, so it's fully updated. Let's uh, check out some links here. Now, these are fairly fresh, last 12 hours, like I always do. Uh, load detection. Oops. So let's get started here. Okay, so this application is unrecognized and has been sandboxed. This one has been detected. Okay, that's been sandboxed. Excuse me one sec, I gotta sneeze. Okay. That one has been detected. That one has been detected. Okay, this one is an unidentified publisher wants uh, full access. We will sandbox, submit in sandbox. Okay, 
uh, wants to execute this file. I'm going to allow this. That's basically just saying that uh, Internet Explorer wants to run that file. Okay, here we go. This is what you're saying right now. This is the cloud behavior blocker. It says a malicious item has been detected. Heuristic suspicious. If you click on the link here, well, apparently right now that's might not be uh, working too well yet. Like I said, it's still beta, but normally I suspect that this would take you to the report. Oh, I think I see the problem. It's missing. Uh, no, it's not. Okay. Well, for some odd reason, that doesn't. It's not working too well right now, but that's okay. But you can see this is here sticks right now. This is a behavior blocker. Okay, we'll submit that. There you go. Cloud behavior. There's an there's uh, there's another t style of uh, the behavior blocker. Ah, that one worked. All right. So you can see when you click on the link, that you can find out what it did and if it you know kind of gives you an idea. That one's not working. And last one. Oh, that one got caught. And these are all some of the other ones that uh, we're seeing um, that were being sent out to. Um, the behavior blocker from some of the other files because well, you can open it up and you can see they're still coming up go to defense plus you can see some of the things that uh, it's been finding partially limited maybe it's under antivirus oh, wrong button antivirus events. Aha, here we go. So you can see some of the, f the files that it's found. Um, cloud behavior. Okay, so what I'm going to do is because of the way the sandbox works in Komodo, um, I'm going to restart because these are in sandbox but they're sitting in the RAM. So I'm going to restart and then um, I'm going to do a full scan with Komodo and I'll be back when the scan is done so I'll see you then I also wanted to show you guys something else I just restarted right now and I was just uh, looking through some of the settings and check this out uh, if you go to manual uh, real-time scanning already has this built in but if you go to manual scanning or schedule scanning look what I see enable cloud scanning I'm sure that slows down the scan a little bit um, it naturally would because it takes time for it to talk to the cloud but I bet your detection uh, goes up even higher so I just want to show you guys that before I start the scan see you when it's done oh real quick um, I also see that it now has a spyware scan before I had my computer in critical areas now it's also got a spyware scan so that's uh, very interesting to see too so once again I'll be back when it's done. I just wanted to show you guys these couple things that I noticed that I know are new. Okay, so the scan finished, and it did take a little bit longer than it normally does, but that's okay. Uh, looks like it found three things here. So you can see um, how you uh, what it's got now. You can see that it's got the the name and the severity of the uh, infection, medium, high where it's located so we will uh, clean all these and now I'm going to get my testing tools I'm gonna run CCleaner and then I'm gonna run um, 
I don't think I'm going to run Norton Power Racer because I really don't see a point for it. Uh, the system isn't badly enough infected where it would um, cause any uh, have caused me to have any problems with um, malware bytes. So I'm going to run malware bytes and then come back and then I'm going to probably run A squared. Um, eh, maybe, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. It depends on what uh, malware bytes shows. So I'll see after malware bytes is done. Okay, so uh, malware bytes finished scanning here and um, didn't find anything, so that's good to see. And now, because uh, I didn't find much of anything, I'm gonna do a scan with Hitman Pro, and I'm gonna see um, what that shows. Uh, the reason you saw that pop up from CIS is because Hitman Pro changed their signature and they have yet to update the um, new signature uh, in the whitelist. So that's the only reason you saw that. So I will be back uh, when this is done. Okay, so um, Hitman Pro finished scanning and it didn't find anything, so that's good to see. So it looks like um, version 5 beta is on its way to uh, getting much, much better. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, have fun testing it and uh, eagerly awaiting the final release. Alright, I'll talk to everybody later. Take care, have a good day.